Hey guys, in this video I'll be going over autopilot for the Viper. In the Viper you control the autopilot with these switches. The left switch controls roll and the right switch controls pitch. Basically you can combine whatever roll and pitch mode you want. Now keep in mind autopilot only activates if you have a pitch mode turned on. So even if I set roll to heading it's not going to turn on until I select a pitch mode. So let's go over the pitch modes first. If you set it to altitude hold obviously it holds your current selected altitude. If you set it to attitude hold, it just selects your current pitch. For example, I can pitch up 10 degrees and set it to pitch hold and it should hold that. Now let's go over the roll modes. If you have it on attitude hold, it'll hold your current roll. So if I roll a little bit to the left and then activate altitude hold, then it'll put me into a left hand circle. If you set it to heading select and activate any pitch mode you want, then you can use the heading knob down here to adjust the little white bug and it'll point your plane to go in that direction. And if you set it to steering select, then it will just fly to your current selected waypoint. So for right now, waypoint five. Now, when you're doing steering select, if you press steer point and go to your waypoint page, if you hover over man, you can press zero to set it to auto. And once you reach your current waypoint, the autopilot will automatically fly you to the next one. Uh, uh, but if you have it set to manual, it will not do that. And you can combine any roll mode with any pitch mode you want. The last thing for autopilot is the paddle switch. The paddle switch is basically an override. Anytime you want, you can hold down the paddle switch and move the plane how you want. And then you can release it and it will re-enable the autopilot. That was autopilot for the Viper. Thanks for checking out this video and I'll see you later.